On a cool Monday morning in early October, the crisp autumn air beckoned me north toward the Blue Ridge Mountains and the beautiful Shenandoah Valley of southwestern Virginia. Truth be told though, with or without the crisp morning air, I was excited for the journey. My travel itinerary included a brief layover in Washington, D.C., and then a sweet reunion with my sister and her family for a week of connection and catching up. It's become an autumn tradition to take a trip to the mountains each October as deciduous leaves float down to carpet the ground and warm apple cider graces the after-dinner menu for cozy conversations on the couch. This visit turned out to be a perfect blend of staying in and going out, of relaxation and memorable activities, which of course included a bit of shopping along the way because is it really even a sister's trip without browsing a few shops? We took a day trip to historic downtown Lynchburg known as the City of Seven Hills, or simply Hill City, and named after John Lynch, who started a ferry service across the James River in 1757. According to lynchburgvirginia.org, the Virginia General Assembly granted Lynch a charter for a town in 1786, which encompassed the 45 acres of land that he owned. Lynchburg was officially incorporated as a town in 1805 and as a city in 1852. And John Lynch was also responsible for Lynchburg's first bridge across the river, which replaced the ferry in 1812. Although I've been to Lynchburg on several occasions, and even flown in and out of the regional airport a few times, touring downtown on foot was a first for me. With a name like Hill City, you can imagine some of the terrain proved a bit challenging for a flatlander like me, but I survived. Our visit included a few highlights I haven't experienced before, including a historic dolphin fountain, placed at the community market by the Lynchburg Women's Club and Monument Terrace, which has been described by the National Register for Historic Places as one of the most impressive urban focal points in Virginia. Monument Terrace is a series of steps and landings, originally designed as a public space in the early 1880s for citizens to navigate the steep hill between church and court streets. But shortly after city engineer August Forsberg implemented his initial design, Lynchburg suffered a tragic fire where five firemen were killed. To honor those who lost their lives, the terrace was updated with a fireman's statue as a memorial. And according to lynchburgmuseum.org, this began the long history of Monument Terrace honoring those from Lynchburg who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Eventually, the fireman was replaced by a bronze statue by Charles Keck, officially known as the Listening Post. Commonly referred to as the Doughboy, it depicts a typical World War I infantry soldier with the names of the 43 dead etched behind the soldier. Since then, new memorials have been added for subsequent wars, and the terrace remains a lively crossroad of historic sacrifice and bustling urban life. On a lighter note, the terrace also proved to be challenging to navigate with a selfie stick, and I discovered how uncoordinated I am on a new level. Who would have thought holding a selfie stick and trying to walk down 139 steps would be so difficult? But alas, it was. And the adventure eventually compelled us away from downtown 
and toward the modern and familiar. Chick-fil-A for the win. As we made the drive back from Lynchburg, a stunning sunset warmed the sky and the mountains welcomed us home. They say home is where the heart is and I'm grateful for the opportunity to reconnect pieces of my heart and home in the beautiful Shenandoah Valley where I'll always treasure these precious memories of autumn travel.